Hey everybody, welcome to Anatomy of a Movie News. Today is May 21st. And the first thing I want to talk about today is The Fault in Our Stars. It's going to be coming out June 6th, and this is one of the most talked about films on social media. It even beat out One Direction's movie in trailer views and has over 2.5 million likes on Facebook. And this is another movie based off of a book. It's John Green's very, very popular book. And it seems like it will, it's gonna do well in the box office but well, you've you think read it you've i have read, read it and it is great i mean it's definitely a tearjerker it's about for those of you who haven't read it it's two cancer patients really young cancer patients who meet in a support group and it's one of those books that it just pulls you in from the get-go and you can't stop reading it and so i think it'll do great in the box office but you know can you really tell box office sales by how well it's doing on social media? I mean, it's certainly not going to beat out Godzilla for numbers or any any of those action really? movies. Really? It's just not. I don't know. I don't think it is. Wow. But that's not to say that it's going to flop by any means. I think um, what I'm excited that a movie about cancer patients, that this type of subject matter, is getting the buzz that it, that it should be. Um, I think it's going to have a nice wave with Shailene Woodley and... Um, her brother from Divergent now turned <laughs> lover in this. I think that'll be interesting to see because then again, we get the follow-up for Divergent, the second, third, and I believe there's a fourth movie as well in that quadrilogy. <laughs> um, and I think it hits at the right time. You know, we, we just, Amazing Spider-Man, we have uh, Captain America, X-Men, we're about to get Godzilla. And so it comes at a time where we might be slightly exhausted and might just need a little breather to back to reality. And some sad reality, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah. I, I think it hits. And, and you had a good point about The Notebook. Yeah, The Notebook came out in June of 2004. And it's a similar type of movie where it's a romance and it's a little sad. And it's interesting because the vice president of BoxOffice.com originally was thinking it would do better in the fall, not being a summer release. Because in the summer, we want to see comedy. We want to see action. But I, you know, looking back at The Notebook, I think having one film like this come out in the summer will actually be a big hit. It's a probably a good date movie. <laughs> it could be. I mean, hey, I mean, I don't know if statistics can prove this, but a good movie is a good movie, and people go see it if it's a good movie. Exactly. And there's enough buzz around this that I think it will do really well in the box office. And let's move across the pond to Cannes to see what's going on over there at the festival. And right now we have a few winners and losers so far because the festival is still going on. Some of the winners include Team Foxcatcher, which is what they're being referred to as right now because they are saying that Steve Carell and Channing Tatum have given career best performances. I mean, Steve Carell wears a fake nose in this film. You know, are they Oscar contenders is really what people are already talking about for this movie, which is really incredible. And That'll I definitely be interesting, especially it. for Channing Tatum now th mm -hmm. with the news that he's Gambit. So that might be a nice counter to that. Because Absolutely. Because he gets so much uh, heat for that. So we'll see, you know, I, I actually think he's, a, I think he's good. I think he's good I don't, too. I don't get the criticism. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's haters hating on him because he's so attractive. <laughs> Could be true. Um, and Robert Pattinson is also being considered a winner for his film, The Rover. And unfortunately, some losers, which are a little surprising for me at least, sadly, Ryan Gosling's directorial debut, The Lost River, is getting soggy reviews, to say the least. Uh, and Grace of Monaco, which had a lot of controversy coming to the festival, the royal family of Monaco was not happy about this film at all. In fact, um, Grace of Monaco has been in an interview saying that she really hoped there would never be a film about her made. And now, obviously, a film is made. Nicole Kidman stars in it. And Harvey Weinstein didn't even go see it at Cannes, which is shocking. And when you're bringing a film to Cannes, that's the number one man you want. You want those yeah. box office numbers that he gets out. And he's sort of Mr. Oscar right now a little bit. And he didn't even go see it, let alone, you know, throw money at it. But Harvey Weinstein has made million dollar deals already at Cannes. He bought Sing Street, which is a new musical. And he also bought Owen Wilson's thriller, The Coup. So Unfortunately for Nicole Kimmon and Grace of Monaco, not getting great reviews. Also, Tommy Lee Jones's actor turned director Western, which we talked about a few weeks ago, is unfortunately getting bad reviews as well. 
I know that's it, it was it was such a high contender against How to Train Your Dragon too, I and know. now it's only a matter of weeks. And it's like uh, over it. Right? Yeah, well, we'll see, you know, when they come out, we'll go watch them and really see how this Western does. It's unfortunate because Tommy Lee Jones is just so cool and you think he could really make a Western. So maybe it's the critics, maybe, you know. It could be. I mean, again, ultimately the audience decides. Exactly. So we'll find out all the actual winners and losers of Cannes after this week when Cannes wraps up. And uh, let's get to the box office because we have huge numbers this week. The summer blockbuster movies are out and in full force. We have number one, Godzilla, which came out this weekend, $93 million. 38 million just on Friday alone. That's insane. And the neighbors Every penny worth it. Oh, the neighbors has the number two spot. Amazing Spider-Man 2, number three, Million Dollar Arm, also premiered this weekend, made it to number four, and then The Other Woman is still holding strong at number five. And we covered In Anatomy of a Movie, Neighbors, last week. We'll be doing Godzilla this week, so it's very exciting. And we did The Other Woman. The only one we haven't done is Million Dollar Arm, unfortunately. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. It's, uh, it's going to be good, and we'll see how... Uh, x-men days of future past does this coming friday yeah see if it can knock godzilla right off of that top spot it might be i mean it's it's definitely doable i think it'll happen but godzilla i think will stay strong as well no matter what yeah it's definitely has a big cult following but so does x-men you know yeah and there's a big lot of big stars in this x-men film indeed all right guys well thanks for tuning in we'll see you next week on anatomy of a movie news